In this video, we're going to go and show you how to clean up the folder structure of, uh, of Reaper. So, if you look at these files here, it's pretty crazy. There's just like, everything is in the same folder. All of my revisions, my mixes, all in all the audio files and all the, all the repeaks. So, it's a little crazy. So, let's try to organize that a little bit. And um, I'm actually pulling this information from uh, reaper-blog.com, which was provided to them by Shane, who is an amazing person on the forums for Pro Tools and for Reaper. So anyway, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to um, the project settings. So you're going to hold the Alt key down, and you're going to press the Enter button. That pulls that up. And now inside of here, see this area here that says path to save media files. To make this kind of like Pro Tools or maybe another DAW, we're gonna put audio files. And then to make this the default, we're gonna click on save as default project settings. So every time you open up a new project, it's gonna open it up this way so when you record something it's going to pop it in that audio files instead of popping it in this the regular area so click on that now for the next step according to his instructions what we're going to do is we're going to, just going to record something real quick so we can get that message record something and stop and according to shane's instructions he wants us to uncheck this uh button right here so you can do that if you want, which means as soon as you click stop, it's just going to save it automatically. It's not going to ask you, do you want to delete some of these takes or whatever. You can do that if you want. So let's let's follow through and um, uncheck that and then click save all. Now, in order to make it create a directory automatically so you don't have to name your folder you know, new song number two and then save your session inside of there called new song number two and then have all your files listed we're going to go to, go to file save for this and what we're going to do is we're going to check off create subdirectory for project so if we go to our desktop as an example and then i'll go into my tutorial folder i'll name this organize which will automatically make the folder and the project name inside of the folder. So I click on save. And I have this checked off here, move all media into project directory, which means that if you uh, drag something from somewhere else, it will move it into the folder. Now, all of our stuff should be inside of there. Let's take a look. And see this organized folder? And go inside of there and we have the organize here and we don't have any audio files yet because I didn't record one after I saved it so let's record once more get rid of that record something else and then click stop and now that we unchecked the prompt it just saves it automatically and it should be right there audio files and boom there's our file so a little bit more organization than um, what Reaper comes with now, if you want to make your backups in the same folder or in a separate folder than your main session file, what you have to do is go to Options, Preferences at the bottom, which is off the screen a little bit. I'm sorry about that. And then that's going to open up. And we're going to go to Project here. And you have to manually do this, which is a little bit of a bummer. But if you're going to do a long session that's going to be multiple hours, it's not going to be that bad. Once you know how to do it, it's going to take a couple seconds. So I would recommend you know, doing this every two to five minutes for a backup. And then the guide on reaper-blog.com suggests to check off this here, save to timestamped file in additional directory. And then what you have to do is browse to your actual session that you're recording. So mine's over here, Tutorials for Reaper, Organize. That's the folder it needs to go into. And now we have to click on Create New Folder and name it Session Backups. 
That allows you to have a little bit more of an organized folder. It has our session backups right here. Nothing in it yet because it hasn't hit our two minute mark. Till next time, thanks for watching tutorials for Reaper. Uh, this is Johnny from Red Sneaker Records.